Hey guys, Melissa here. And in this video, I'm gonna go through my process of oxidizing. So just stay tuned and I'll show you my process. All right, so I'm ready to oxidize my pieces. I have dedicated containers for this. This little Tupperware I used to have um, little skull and crossbones drawn on this, so nobody touched it, but it kind of wore off. I got some scrap wire. I have a cup for my baking soda. And this is what I use. I use chips. So I'm gonna put, I'm not sure how much, I just throw some baking soda. Some regular tap water. So this has fluid in it from the last time I oxidized. I leave it in there and then the liver of sulfur kind of neutralizes, turns clear, clear like water, doesn't smell anymore. And at this point it's safe to go down the sink. So I'm going to throw that out, pull out a small chip here. That's what they look like starting to smell already. I use some tweezers to pull out a little piece. Put it in my container. I'm going to quickly put the lid back on my canister because we don't want any moisture to get in there at all. Alright, my water is nice and hot. have a small little chip so I put just a little bit of water so it'll cover my pieces swirl it around and get that little sulfur chip to dissolve all right I'm gonna grab my pieces here hanging on my wire and start dipping dip it till you get your desired shade you can make it really dark or you can just stop right there put it in the baking soda bath so it neutralizes it it stops all oxidation so this one will go a little bit darker one today. That's good enough for this one. Put the lid on my toxic chemicals and give my pieces a little rinse. And grab a paper towel. Next, I grab some steel wool. This is that quadruple zero fine steel wool. And I usually do this over a garbage, but today I'll do it over the sink.
All right, one last one. Okay, so at this point, with a bare metal, if you have any like um, tool nicks or things that need to be buffed out or you want a higher shine to it, I would go ahead and use the Dremel on it with my polishing tips. But for now, I'm going to scrub them with a toothbrush and some mild soap to get all that residue off. So washing out all those little bits of um, steel wool 